Boston Dynamics recently released a video of its new Atlas robot, a tough-as-nails model that resists a bullying human who tries to trip it and knock packages from its hand. Is this an impressive exhibit of technology or a frightening harbinger of what's in store? Here to discuss this is Emmy-winning legal analyst and news decoder Lionel. Lionel, am I missing something here? You say this isn't as innocent as one might think it is. Oh, no. I want you to notice Boston Dynamics' new version of this. Watch their ad and see if you notice anything different about it. Now, remember, Boston Dynamics is owned by a subsidiary of Alphabet, which was Google. Now, in the old days, you see these kind of goofy, ungainly kind of, you know, robots that were kind of cute, and gee, look at that. Isn't that sweet? But when they fell over, you'd have to set them up again. And it was kind of sad, like the turtle on the fence post. <laughs> well, all of a sudden, enter Atlas. So you push Atlas down, and he, get, he it, gets up. You push Atlas, comes at you, knocks him over, takes something in his hand, and you quote, they use the term, interesting, bullying him. And what Atlas does in this particular demonstration, later on you'll see perhaps, is he fights back. And when I saw this, I said, oh my God. This is it. This is robot uprising. Because, Anya, for some reason, people always look at robots as kind of R2-D2, Danger Will Robinson, the little drone that vacuums your apartment. Fun, helpful. But with AI and artificial intelligence, what if he fights back or it fights back? Yeah, That's the message this time. You said people might look at robots and see something cute. I'm looking at Atlas, and I, that's not necessarily my reaction. But who is this company exactly, Lionel? Boston Dynamics. Robots, as I said, they have teamed with uh, Google. They're owned by Google or Alphabet. And also, they're involved in, and you hear this a lot, DARPA Olympics and DARPA competition. Look at this. Look at this guy say, don't push me back, I'm coming back at you. Imagine trying to turn this thing off one day, and he says, oh, no, you don't. You're not turning me off. But Boston Dynamics is it's a very fascinating organization that works with DARPA, and DARPA is a part of the defense research program. Now, let me add this. Let's bring in the Apple controversy. Let's bring in Tim Cook and what it means to hack and encryption and backdoor. Let's assume that I can figure a way to get into the brains, into the system of this thing. Because you've now opened doors. You have destroyed encryption. And I'm not saying this is an Apple product, but if ever you want to see what could go wrong when the public or a bad guy is able to hack, imagine this thing is armed. And one day you're going to see these on the battlefield. And it's very armed. And there's an algorithm or a, or a program that is used and controlled by humans. If I can hack into that, and it can fight back, and it can resist, and it has learned by virtue of its artificial intelligence, do you, you do, of course you do, because you're sentient and you're aware, but do people watching this have any idea of what could go wrong, the, long, the law of unintended consequences? Well, you've opened it up for discussion then already, Lionel. We have about a minute left, but just for fun, then what is the worst case scenario that you fear here? The worst case scenario is one day we put into the hands of these, these objects, these machines, the ability to engage war, to engage targets, to engage in enemies, fight, combat, and we lose that. Either it's hacked or it has learned independence by virtue of its artificial intelligence aspect. Think of this robot as a petulant adolescent who is fighting for autonomy, who doesn't want to be told. We are watching right now the creation of Isaac Asimov's worst nightmare. This is <laughs> iRobot, and it's all being presented to us, and instead of a people being worried or concerned or even saying, gee, what could go wrong? We smile and we embrace it as another form of cool. We coo at cool. <laughs> and this ain't cool. This is scary. Well, you know, we know that you'll always set the record straight for us uh, when it comes to creepy <laughs> technology. Legal media analyst Lionel of Lionel Media, thank you so much. Thank you.